Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I am going to be talking about a really wonderfully exciting topic which is why you should set up a Google My Business account to go along with your Squarespace website. So I fully acknowledge that this might not be the most fun thing you ever do when it comes to your website, but trust me, it is a small task that you can do that will only take a couple of minutes and it will have pretty undeniable results. So that's why I want to share it with you here today. So it's come to my attention that most people don't even know about Google My Business. And honestly, that's not that surprising. And if you don't know what it is, then you probably don't understand why it's so important to set up in the first place. So whether your business has a physical location, like an actual storefront with an address where people can come and go and visit you, or if your business exists purely online, Either way, Google My Business is a digital feature that you should always be setting up to go along with any website or business that you have. So you probably know me for a lot of the work I do regarding Squarespace SEO and setting up a Google My Business profile definitely ties into that. And I'm going to show you exactly why that is. So I want to make sure that you're totally clear about what Google My Business is, how easy it is to set it up to go along with your Squarespace website and so that you can also understand the value that it has for both online marketing, SEO, and growing your digital presence online. Okay, so again, it'll only take a couple minutes to set up your Google My Business profile and I'm about to show you how to do that. But before we get to it, I wanna mention that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist and you can grab that from the link down below. And if you have anything, any interest in SEO and your Squarespace website, this is something you definitely wanna get and it's free. So just click the link below to grab that checklist. Okay, so let's get started on the Google My Business um, you know, setting it up and everything. So first of all, you might be like, what is Google My Business? And that's totally fine. So the, the service is described as being a free and easy to use tool for business, I'm reading this, <laughs> free and easy to use tool for businesses and organizations to manage their online presence across Google, including search and maps. By verifying and editing your business information, you can both help customers find you and tell them the story of your business. Okay, so that's great. But one of the most important reasons why we're setting up a Google My Business profile is that you can manage all of the information that Google users see when they're searching for your business um, or the products or the services that you offer, anything that shows up in search results. And this is major because having this element of control over your online search results is going to really set you apart from your competition and make it more likely that people will click on you in search results as opposed to somebody else. So again, I wanna throw a couple quick stats at you here quickly. Businesses that verify their information with Google My Business are twice as likely to be considered reputable by consumers. Like twice, that's pretty much big. Another thing is when people find your business in Google search results or on Google Maps, you are ensuring that they have access to key business information such as your website, duh, hours of operation, your address, your phone number, all of that kind of stuff. Um, there's some other benefits too about things like customer reviews and you can also put photos on your Google My Business profile, which is pretty major, especially if you offer products and stuff. Um, again, a couple more stats for you quickly is that according to Google, businesses that add photos to their listing receive 42% more requests for driving directions on Google Maps and perhaps more importantly, 35% more clicks through to their website than businesses that don't have those photos. So yeah, you definitely want to set up a Google My Business profile and start adding these photos to your listing if you want to attract more people to your website. All right, so now you know I've given you a bit of an intro as to what Google My Business is. You understand that it's a free tool. Um, and also too, it's a great way for Google to verify both your business and your website. So great for SEO, but let's, let me show you how to do that. So one second while I, just pull this up here. Share, let me show you my screen. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, so to go to Google My Business, I've linked to it down below, so you can just click the link here, but basically you're gonna go to Google My Business, and then you see up here in the top right-hand corner, we have this green Start Now button. That's what you're gonna click, and then from here, all you have to do is um, just follow the prompts. Oh, wow. 
slow internet there, but very slow. Okay, so yeah, it'll go through here. The first question, what is the name of your business? You just click next, follow through all of the prompts, and then you'll be good to go. So that's it. Honestly, setting up Google My Business will only take you a couple minutes, so it's pretty straightforward to do. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about Google My Business and your Squarespace website in particular. And a lot of people ask me like, if they still need to set up a Google My Business profile if you already have a Squarespace website because you think like, you know, oh, if I already have a website and that information is already there and being indexed by Google, why do I need to create this Google My Business account? And the thing is Google My Business, that profile is gonna complement your existing website and Again, it's by giving it an, a public identity and a presence within Google's free service directly. And this is great because it means that you're gonna show up like in a higher likelihood on Google search results, Google Maps, and on Google Plus, but you know, that's not a huge thing. So I've, if you've set up a Squarespace website, you've probably already verified your Squarespace website with Google Search Console, but you should also take it a step further and fill out a profile with Google My Business. All right, another thing I want to address is using Google My Business if you don't have a physical location or a storefront. So many of the people I work with, they have online businesses, you know, and maybe they sell physical products or they sell their services to people anywhere. They're not restricted by like a physical office or storefront or you know they don't serve clients at a local level necessarily and these people are wondering oh is google my business still something i need to know about and the answer is yes definitely and online businesses that don't have a physical address or all of that kind of stuff can still benefit from a google my business profile and setting that up in tandem with your squarespace website um, this is a really good news if you do offer like a services based or online business anything like that um, but it also works well if you do sell products or anything else. It, so even if you don't have that physical location, it's totally fine. And so all you really need to do for the Google My Business is have a website. And then once you have the website, you can still create the, you know, the profile there. Okay, last thing I wanna to talk to you about is the benefits for SEO that come from setting up a Google My Business profile. So there are a couple different reasons in particular why setting up a Google My Business profile is so good for SEO on your Squarespace website. But the major like stand above the rest reason is that it adds an extra layer of verification to your website. So we think about search engines and the biggest search engine out there is Google, right? And if they have verified your website across several different platforms or directories that they own, and we're talking you know, platforms or directories such as Google Search Console, Google My Business, Google Analytics, et cetera, things like that, then Google, as the search engine, is taking note of that and they may rank your website higher in search results. And again, this is because your website and your online business profile, it's considered a bit more like thorough and vetted because you have submitted it to all of these different Google um, platforms or directories, whatever. And Google sees that you're being really helpful to them, making the quality of your website stand out compared to some other ones. Um, also, there's an added bonus as well for SEO, which is user experience. And you might sometimes hear that called the UX. Um, but if you set up the Google My Business profile, it's great because you're really presenting the best information in the search results and on like Google Maps and stuff like that. And users, somebody who's doing a search, whether they're looking in search results or in Google Maps and seeing your website and all that business information that comes up, those people that are doing the search, they're going to take note of it and they're way more likely to click through to your website as a result. So again, added bonus there for SEO is all about user experience. And finally, the last point I want to talk about for the benefit of SEO is that setting up a Google My Business account helps create an additional, they're called high value backlinks to your website. Um, and basically what you're doing here is that anytime you set up these backlinks or you know, links on another website to your own website, this is another opportunity to increase traffic to your website and also improve your overall rankings for certain targeted keywords, which is what we're all aiming for if we're going after SEO here. So as you can see, there are some major benefits um, when it comes to SEO by setting up a Google My Business profile. So you definitely want to do it. Again, I've linked to it directly in the description below. So all you have to do is click through, 
follow the prompts, set up your profile, and it'll go along really well with your Squarespace website. And quick reminder that if you do want to learn more about Squarespace SEO, you can grab my free copy of the Squarespace SEO checklist. I've linked to that one down below as well, and totally free. You can use it. It's really helpful. It's literally helped thousands of people, and I know it can probably help you on your own Squarespace website. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new about Google My Business and that it, I have encouraged you to get that set up on your own Squarespace website today. Whether you have an online business, you sell products, services, have a physical location or not, anything you want. And if you like this video, let me know. You can leave it a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment down below too to let me know if you've tried it out. I would love to hear from you. I also have tons more blog posts and video tutorials. You can check them out either here on my YouTube channel or over on my website, which is charlotteohara.ca. And I cover topics such as Squarespace, SEO, website design and development, online business, and other tech tips. So lots of great information for you there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye now.